Hello, my fellow CMT members and candidates and charter holders. Uh, I'm very excited to be back with you today with an exciting announcement for our 2024 Charles H. Dow Award winners. Uh, joining me today on this video are the illustrious Larry Williams and Ralph Vince. I'm going to bring them on right now. Gentlemen, it's so great to see you. How are you doing? Great being here. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Tyler. We, uh, I, I know the technical analysis community doesn't get enough chance to celebrate uh, the great work that this community does, but uh, today's announcement is about a really groundbreaking paper that you two wrote about the ripple effect of daily new lows. So the first thing I want to ask you about is just to tell our audience a little bit about uh, the findings from your research, the importance of, of breadth contraction, and, uh, and maybe give them a little teaser so they can get in and uh, review that paper themselves. Well, I think it all started, Ralph will get into the details of it, but for me, it started way back in the 1960s when I met, met Gil Holler, who really got me into this business, and he focused on new highs and new lows. And from that point, Ralph and other people have done a lot of other work, stock market charts did, SMCR. But mm -hmm. finally, with Ralph's help, we were able to put this all together. And Ralph, why don't you take it from there? Thanks, Larry. So we were looking at new lows and, and looking at some of the early stuff by like Gil Holler and so forth, and just trying to confirm uh, how does that measure up today in, in today's modern markets? And it was just as solid today as in those days. Mm -hmm. And we had a couple of other things for new lows that kind of told us when we're in some kind of a sell-off, let's say, uh, after a protracted run-up, is this just a little pullback or is this something a lot more serious? Yeah. And we found that new lows really... Uh, gave us a good indication on that. They also gave us a good indication uh, about when you tend to be in more of a, a safe zone in terms of a, a, a market run. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's real easy to get real twitchy during a market run that things are about to get real bad in a hurry. And, and new lows really shed a lot of light on that. Mm -hmm. And so we just decided to break through. It, we always have pullbacks in the market, right? Yeah, but man. with Ralph's research, now we know, well, is, is this the start of a new party or is just another pullback? And that's a massive step for technical analysis to now have something that says, yeah, we, this is not just a regular pullback. You know, I've been at enough CMT conferences where we've uh, <laughs> we've put our guests in the hot seat. And I often ask, you know, can you tell us about your worst trade? And those who are being honest oftentimes reflect on, yeah, I had, I, you know, Bought into company X, uh, had a great 30% run. I sold out the position, took some profits from my clients, and then watched it, you know, triple from there. Or, you know, missing the rest of the move is one of the hardest parts of, of trend following is being able to stay patient and stay in the trade. So understanding when you've got a viable dip or being able to quantify when a pullback is actually more meaningful in terms of trend reversal. That is uh, that is very powerful research, and I, I did read the paper last weekend, uh, and I found it fascinating. Um, now, you gentlemen, this is not your first rodeo. You you've been working together for a while, haven't you? Tell tell us a little bit about when you guys. I met. like to say Ralph came to me when he's a baby in diapers, and now that I'm eighty two, I might be looking for diapers. So you know, we kind of gone full circle here. But I think Ralph and I we kind of met through. A dialogue with a fellow guy, uh, Bruce Babcock, who Ralph would work for. And, and I was able to pirate him away, thanks to Tom DeMarc, I think, stepped in and helped on that too. And Ralph and I have been working, I think, Ralph, since 1986. So we're almost 40 years now yeah, sharing not, ideas. Pardon? If not before, I. If not I before, need... yeah. So it's been a long time. And, it's, it's, and there's a couple of things. Beyond tactical analysis, just to meet friends in this business, like yeah. Tyler, like Ralph, like Tom DeMarc, like so many people I've met, I met they're an integral part of my, my family's life. I mean, everybody in my family knows Ralph, like, hey, we're going to go see Ralph in France. <laughs> like, it, yeah. you know, it's not just technical analysis, it's yeah. technical analysis opened up a, a whole world of friendship of acquaintances, because it's usually yeah. just me looking at my chart. Well, now I've developed relationship with people like Ralph. So there's that part to it. 
Yeah. Plus the research part uh, and to do work, which we did something called the volatility breakout back in 1987. It took the world by storm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, you know, we're still alive and we're still kicking and producing. Oh, that's so well said. And those relationships are uh, are truly in invaluable. Clearly, uh, your work together is just getting started. Uh, I'm excited to see what you submit next year for the Charles H. Dow Award, guys. <laughs> hey, our best thing was when we ran the Boston Marathon together. Maybe that's the worst part. Hey? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, r run might be the wrong word for the speed that we did it at. Yeah. But, you know. I think it was the hottest day they ever had the... They ever ran the Boston Marathon. I think it was 88 degrees when we started, and it only got hotter finished. from there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, gentlemen, uh, this, this groundbreaking research not only expands our understanding of market behavior, but uh, really provides a lot of invaluable insights to the entire investment community, not just the, the technical analysis community, but uh, one of the main missions of the CMT Association is to to get the good word out to the rest of the investor public. And uh, we, we are very fortunate to have uh, you guys hard at work, even more than 40 years after you uh, first first broke bread together. So thank you, gentlemen, so much for, uh, for submitting your research. For everybody who's watching this video and who thinks about you know the titans of the industry, like Ralph Vince and Larry Williams, uh, you are the next titan. So sharpen your pencil. Get back to those charts uh, and that innovation doesn't happen by magic it happens by uh, a community of really hardworking folks that compare ideas and uh you know bat things around a little bit before we uh, find out what works so this research is a does is research opens the door for other people i mean the stuff that gil holler did in the late 1958s opened the door for me it opened other doors so what ralph and i have done here we just hope that it opens doors for for more understanding of the market. I mean, exactly. We'll open the door a little bit. You guys can go through there and shed more light on it. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank Very you. well said. Yeah. So lots to look forward to. Uh, everybody's going to click the link below and head to the website and get your copy of The Ripple Effect of Daily New Lows. And uh, I, I'm, I'm going to put you guys on the spot. Can can we get a uh, international webcast with the two of you to kind of walk through the findings and the research project together? Maybe we'll put something on the calendar for July or August before uh, before vacation season starts. How's that sound? Uh, of course, Tyler. I'll 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 handle that if 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 Larry's unavailable or we do it together. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll handle it when we. I know he's got some traveling coming up in July. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then for all of us, we're looking forward to uh, events in 2025. Uh, where we can all get together in person. And I look forward to seeing both of you again really soon. Thank you so much, gentlemen. And uh, we'll talk again real soon. Thanks, Thanks. I appreciate everything very much. Thank you.